So it's been almost a year and I was supposed to have been had this part put out, but uh, I just recently watched my first part of how I was almost a homewrecker slash side chick and I feel that, you know what, it's been almost a year and um, a part two definitely needs to come out. So if you haven't watched part one, uh, go ahead, click the card up there or maybe there's link is down there. but. Nine times out of ten, the card is going to be up here. Go ahead and watch that part because you're going to be hella confused if you don't. And let's just get on to exactly where I left off. So I don't remember any exact timestamps, and sadly, I don't have any evidence. But by the end of this video, you're going to understand why I don't have any evidence because your girl was ready for screenshots and all kinds of other stuff, or whatever. But I have none of that, but you'll know why at the end. So after I contacted her, I don't remember her name either, but after I contacted her, let's just say it was like maybe about 24 hours later, she actually messaged me back and she was like, yes, this is, this is his girl, whatever. Like me and my friend, we came down to visit him because she works in Temecula. So we came down to visit him and he uh, was basically saying how y'all wouldn't leave him alone so we just start going through his phone and start texting you know like you know all these people so she said y'all which is plural so it means it wasn't only just me there was a whole bunch of other people i don't remember i don't i don't say i don't remember i don't know how many other people have been like texting him and he's been like playing all this bullshit or whatever so i'm like oh okay well i'm sorry that I'm sorry that he did this to you he doesn't deserve you as a person because basically like she says she works out in Temecula so it's like she has trust in him to like not do stupid shit like this which obviously that trust is lost now because he got caught so I told her I am ready to send you all screenshots of our convo because even beforehand like before she messaged me I got literally all the screenshots ready so she said yes go ahead send me screenshots so when she said that i literally sent all of them to her all of them to her i felt so savage and so proud and she was like thank you i'm like she says she's 30 years old and like she doesn't have time for these games i'm like i understand and like at the time i was 19 literally like a year ago so i'm like this is a 19 year old having to tell a 30 year old that her 26, 20, yeah, he was like, yeah, 26 year old boyfriend is being stupid or whatever, or baby daddy. Yeah, I forgot they had a kid together. Any hoosies. So I think like maybe a day later, I don't remember exactly timestamps. I'm just going to say a day. He actually messages me because I actually kind of just forgot about him like basically fuck him I don't want to I don't want to be here or whatever and he was like is texting me is saying like you need to go say sorry to my girl you got her upset blah 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 all this stupid shit I'm like I got her upset you want me to say sorry for exposing your ass for exposing the truth got it so I did not text him I messaged her on Facebook and I said look I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings that was not my intentions I just basically wanted to show you what he's doing behind your back because you don't deserve anyone uh like this I'm telling you this because he messaged me is saying all this crap whatever blah 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 and she's like no it's because he's mad because I told him that we're over and I'm done with all these gays blah 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 and I'm like oh, okay and then we started talking about like not really other stuff but basically just saying how like I guess us women need to like support each other and all kinds of other stuff or whatever. I added her on Facebook because you know we was cool at that moment and I blocked him on Facebook. I didn't message him back at all but then he messaged me saying something about I think being childish or something. Once again I don't know what the text said anymore but I just remember the one thing he said was sorry that we didn't work out. sorry that we didn't work out first of all you wasn't planning for us to work out any motherfucker way so why are you gonna say sorry what i did i sent a long 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 ass message 
basically saying what he did was wrong and what he's doing to her is wrong and how like he's 26 year old and he's you're basically a fuck what like you have kids like I said in my last video how I've always wanted to say or use a line like think about if a guy did this to your kids would you be happy about it and I was so happy because I finally got to say it I said it I, I went in on him to be honest I said that he was a horrible father to be honest even though I don't know what he does as a father but basically it's like the way that you, you're doing all this to all these other women I don't know how many you've been doing it to but you're doing it to me and you're doing it to the mother of your kids and you're all obviously doing it to some other people at least one other person so it's like why why would you do that and especially you have daughters or at least one but I'm still very confused I only saw one picture so why would he say that he has twins I only saw one picture of one little girl you're over here treating women the way that you don't want any other guys to treat your daughter I don't remember everything that I said but I do remember I oh okay so at first I blocked his number or put it in the auto reject list and apparently like on my phone like an auto reject list that just means like if they call you then it won't go through but they could text you I'm like that's weird so I downloaded an app where it could like kind of block it on both but for some reason I could still text him it was weird I texted him like your number has been blocked so I just sent it off to him and then I just did not want to mm -mm. cuz like personally I was like low-key scared not of what he could do it's just basically what he would like say I didn't want him to like I don't know I was like low-key scared but then I wasn't at the same time I don't know so then I messaged her basically saying like what he said and what I said you know kind of still talking or whatever because we were still kind of cool so then afterwards after me and her got done talking I went on Facebook I made this post about how like we want to stay together because blah 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 yada 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 whatever and she liked it she commented something too I don't remember but then after that me and her we didn't uh we didn't talk like that on a regular basis whatever I just had her on Facebook she had me on Facebook whatever so let's just say like a few weeks passed I'm you know just going on Facebook mindlessly like always and then I see a picture of her and him like she changed her profile picture to them two and they were like real close or whatever I'm like wait what huh why I go ahead and I clicked on the picture and then it said it had like one comment or something I just always said it had a comment and then like I looked on it and it didn't have the amount of comments that it said so if it had one comment I looked on it and it didn't show the comment or if it had like four comments it only showed three so I'm like they got back together so not only did he make me look stupid she made me look stupid as fuck too really really two I try this is why I don't help people I'm over here just like basically girl we are together in this like he has been doing this not only to me but to other women and like he is the father of your daughter he's doing this and you will go ahead and go back with him you know what fine go ahead look stupid so what I did, I blocked her. I don't need that in my life, okay? Got me out here looking dumb. Okay, so basically that's the end of the story. Finally, a year later, I finally tell the story. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, Zoe, if you like it, please like it. Also comment down below if you have ever I mean ever had something like this happen where you was almost uh a home wrecker or a side hole whatever also wanted to point out that that first time where I got his phone number that was the only time I saw him in person the only time I saw him in person I never saw him in person after that because he was saying all this stuff like oh if I come by your house will you come out and see me I'm, I'm not gonna come out of the house to see you like I don't know you like that also the amount of times that he has asked me for money like if I gave him money every single time that he asked me and like he said he was gonna pay me back he will owe me like 
over $200 right now. But you know what? Your girl's still on the ground and she said no every single time that he has. I gotta say, comment down below if any like this, anything like this has ever happened to you and what did you do? Or if you got a cool story, because I would love to read it. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we are trying to get this channel up to 500 subscribers before the year is over. And we are in March, so I think we all do good. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Also, don't trust light skins because he was light skin. Bye! <sighs> now you wanna be in the video? Now you wanna be a part of the video? What? I'm still mad that you stepped on my eye. <laughs>